I've seen all these videos of equestrians doing Dollar Tree horse hacks and so I thought I would try it myself and go to the Dollar Tree and see if there's actually useful items there that you can use around the stable or for your horse. Just an FYI, things aren't a dollar at the Dollar Tree anymore, they're a dollar twenty-five. And if you go to Dollar General, like the, the prices vary. So I went to the Dollar Tree where everything was a dollar twenty-five. This first thing I found I was actually really excited for, it's like a Tupperware and you can screw off the lid and everything and my very first thought I had when I saw this was this would be perfect for horse treats. We have mice really bad and then like raccoons and stuff like to get in barns and so being able to seal your food is actually very useful. Oh, it may be too small. Maybe I can shake it. There we go. That to me is very satisfying. The next items I found, I created kind of like a little kit for my horses. I got a bag of Epsom salt, so this is great. If your horses have abscesses, you can soak their feet in Epsom salt. So $1.25 compared to if you go to the store, this is a lot more expensive to get at Walmart or Amazon or somewhere. So this was a good buy. A sponge. I actually did not look at the receipt. I hope this wasn't $1.25 because I feel like this feels like it would be cheaper, but I got a cute little sponge. This here is a spray bottle and believe it or not, but I can always find use for these things. I like to make my own fly spray and so I'm always looking for spray bottles. Reusable gloves. These are great for washing your horse and bathing them. This is great for cleaning out water buckets and things like that. So I was like, okay, let me take one of those. Colin just said that you can put these under your gloves in the winter and it will make your hands warmer. Have you actually tried that? He said, no, he hasn't tried it, but I've tried it apparently. So I got a tube of baby shampoo, which you can actually use on horses because it's like soft on the skin and it's great for like sensitivity and things like that. So I got that. Lastly, I got this adorable, cute little holder. You could even put brushes in this to be honest. And so I thought that was really useful. I found this cute little scoop. So right now I actually use like a coffee mug to scoop out my horse's grain and feed. But I saw this and I'm like, you know what? That's just a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. So there you have it. Actually, let's see if this is equal to a mug. This is what I usually use. So I'm just going to see. So yeah, it's like exactly a mug, which is perfect. Y'all, I literally just dropped my mug and it broke. And so perfect timing for me to buy that scoop. Some medical supplies I got. So I have a thing of hydrogen peroxide here. I like having this in the barn, um, specifically for thrush in the horse's feet. I find that this is really useful for that. And it's also super satisfying to like pour this in the foot and see it foam up. I also found some baby powder. So this is great in cold weather, especially like today. If you ride your horse and your horse is sweating, and then you need to put their blanket on or turn them out, but you don't want them to still be wet. Baby powder is great for absorbing that water. Scissors, you can never go wrong with a pair of scissors in your tack box or in your barn. And I feel like I'm always losing my pair of scissors. So I said, well, let me just get another pair. So I'll have two. I got this little light that I wanna try out in my barn. Our barn used to have electricity, but something happened to where it stopped working. I was like, okay, I need some light in there. So I thought, well, let's just see how this works. I also got these AAA batteries. We're in the darkest part of the barn here, which is our hay room where we keep all our hay and where the cats live. So I found a nail. I'm gonna hang my light right there and then I'm just gonna turn it on. Oh, wow, that's really bright. I'm really surprised that this tiny little light actually lights up this whole space. I was not expecting that, but this will be very useful because every time I come in here, the door shuts behind me and it's super dark and I cannot see anything. You may be wondering why I have two of these planters here, but I had a few different ideas for these. Number one, you could put them under a jump to kind of create like a filler, even though they're pretty small, you know, it could create a nice little aesthetic design. Another idea I had for these is raised trap holes, potentially. Like everyone's always trying to figure out how to raise their trap holes. And these are probably nine inches. You could just put the pole on top, especially for me because I don't have really any jumps. I don't even have jump poles. I just have like tree branches that I picked up off the ground. You know, I'm pretty DIY, so let's see if it works. My only concern is that they're plastic. So I just hope they're strong enough to hold this. You know what? I actually really like this. And the thing is you could like spray paint them white or something so that they don't look as tacky. 
But I think that's great. I think that's like perfect height too. All right, tuck. Good boy, very careful. This next thing I found is a nice little hanging rack and I thought this would be perfect for either a horse trailer or a tack locker or even in your tack room where you could like hang halters and bridles on it. And so there I have a halter and I can go see if I can find a place to hang it in the barn. Our barn is old, so we have like old slabs and I think I could get it like right here, potentially. There we have it. I'm gonna put this halter right there. Perfect. I was super excited when I saw these. So these came in sets of two. So you could get two cones for $1.25. I ended up getting six sets, so I got 12 cones overall. I love these because they're great to act as jump fillers. You can put them under jumps. You can set them up and create obstacles for your horse. And I have been wanting some of these, so I made sure I got a lot of them. I set these up really close together. I just want to see how Tucker can do this. So he's really going to have to do his lateral movements. His turn on the haunches, turn on the forehand. Bip, bip, bip. There you go. Good boy. Go this way. Good boy. We found this and we immediately wanted to get it because there's actually a horse hack you can do with things like this. This is a hand mirror. So if you can see, and what you can do with this that I've heard is you can use a mirror to get your horse to perk their ears um, if you're trying to take a picture. And so I'm gonna hand this to Colin and he's gonna see if he can get Tucker to look forward and perk his ears. And Tucker's pretty shy to, oh, okay, well don't do that. <laughs> the light reflecting was hitting him. There, right there, look. You see it? Oh, spooky boy. Colin was reflecting the light and it was hitting Tucker and he was freaking out. So I was like, give me that mirror, I'll do it myself. Oh, it's okay, buddy. Look, it's on the ground. There. Tucker's a very sensitive soul for those who haven't caught on to that yet. It's okay. <laughs> He's scared of a dot on the ground. It's all right, bud. It's okay, look. Where is it? It's okay. This may be more for horse training than it is for getting photos. I think for the hack that we read is that you have a larger mirror. So instead of seeing the reflection of the light, the horse is more so seeing themselves in the reflection and that's what is getting them to perk up. But Tucker here is really scared of this. <laughs> it's okay, bud. One thing I will always get at the Dollar Tree for my horses are brushes. So I got this hairbrush and also a comb. Horses destroy hairbrushes because their hair is so coarse. And so I don't like spending a whole lot of money. He's now freaked out because he, that whole mirror incident, he's now scared of everything. It's okay. And so, you know, you can just use this to brush the mane. Also, if you're trying to grow your horse's hair out and you don't really want to use a brush, that's where these combs come in, where they're a lot like easier on the hair and you can work out snarls and stuff. And these are more great for the tail. I like to use these on the tail. That's one thing, if you have one of those draft crosses like Mr. Ruach and I wanna grow out his mane nice and long, I would use this to brush it. This product is very cool. So if you ever want to paint your horse, whether you're painting them for Halloween or for a parade, or if you're like at a horse camp and you wanna get paint, you can get safe paint for your horse at the Dollar Tree. This is Tempera paint. So this is non-toxic and it's water-based. So this is the perfect stuff to use for your horse. This is the type of paint you would wanna use. At the Dollar Tree, they do have other types of paint. So you just wanna make sure you get this. And it even says, if you read the description, ready to use Tempera paint water-based, non-toxic. We've done a lot of videos where we've painted the horses. Tucker has been painted as a giraffe. And then in another video, we painted all of his white spots blue, which I thought was really cool. And so you can check those out and go get paint for your horse and paint them. Everything you've just seen that we got from the Dollar Tree costs us a total of $45, which is super cheap. And sometimes you can spend hundreds to thousands of dollars buying stuff for your horse. So I highly recommend going to the Dollar Tree and seeing what you can find before investing a whole lot of money into things, especially because horses like to destroy stuff, don't they? If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more weekly horse videos.